Hallelujah. Shall we pray, please? Our God and our Father, we thank you this night. God of heaven, we appreciate you. We exalt your name. Thank you, Father God, for the journey so far. The journey in the year 2024. Lord, we appreciate you for all that we are enjoying in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have come once again as usual. We have come, oh God, as unto you, the, our great God of heaven. We have come to present our lives, our heart, our soul, our spirit, our family. In fact, all our petitions, everything unto you. Lord, we look unto you, God. We have no power of our own. We have no strength of our own. Well, depend upon your everlasting arm. Please, Lord, we are praying tonight. Attend to every need, O God, of our hearts, O gently, O God, in Jesus' name. Father, we are asking and praying, O God of heaven, that tonight, Lord, as a result of Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, Lord, please, O God, let heaven be open unto us, and let there, be a, let there be showers of breakthrough, showers of blessing, showers of renewal, showers of revival, showers of prosperity, showers of abundance from heaven upon our land tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. We pray for all our brethren who are here to join. We pray, oh Lord, that to quicken them. Lord, Steer them up and bring them here, O oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we want to appreciate God. Look at all that God of heaven has done for us in the last Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we hearing me? Yes. Okay. We really appreciate God for what the Lord has done for us in the last GCK that was that took place in Enugu State of Nigeria. It was a massive, uh, you know, time of blessings, the days of His power, and of course, it was a, it was there were great days of power of God in full manifestation. Power to save, power to liberate, power to deliver, power to transform lives, power to restructure life, power to reorganize family, power to rebuild the land that has been broken, that has collapsed. Oh, see the signs and wonders, the miracles that took place. See the touch of God upon our soul. See the frequent power of God upon his own servant, our Father in the Lord, and all his associates, all his lieutenants. We want to use this medium to appreciate God for that great thing that God of heaven did in that crusade. I was mightily, I was mightily blessed. And I know that you also you were blessed for as many that connected. We want to return the glory back to, to God. Wherever you are at this time, we want to say, Father, thank you. The Bible tells us, it said, bless the Lord, oh, oh my soul. I want your soul to be lifted. I want your soul to be to be to be loose to praise God. I want your soul now to begin to appreciate God. Wherever you are connected now, we want to bless the name of the Lord. Please open your mouth and join me as we worship the Lord, as we give him all the praises tonight, as we say, Father, thank you. As we say, God, we are grateful unto you. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Please, I'm not hearing our prayers. And those of us that uh, uh, we just decided to mute ourselves, please unmute yourself. Let's join in this holy prayer. Let's come together as one and pray. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's read the glory back to God of heaven. He's our God. He's the mighty God. He's the everlasting God. He's the ancient of days. He's the great I am that I am. Is the Alpha, is the Omega. Is the beginning, is the ending. 
He's the first, he's the last. He's the all-powerful God. He's the immutable God. He's the omniscient God. He's the omnipresent God. He's the omnipotent God. He's a never dying God. He reigned in the eternity past, and of course, he will continue to reign in the eternity future. Oh, put your mouth and begin to praise him this night. He's the God of mercy. The God that is full of compassion. And we have mercy on whom and we have mercy. And we have compassion on whom and we have compassion. Please open your mouth and begin to adore him. Open your mouth and begin to praise him tonight. Let's thank God for our Father in the Lord. Pastor, Dr. W.F. We, we want to bless God for all those our associate pastor, particularly our Enugu, I mean the, the South Southeast coordinating overseer, our beloved pastor, Pastor Gonsim Owanji. For open your mouth and begin to appreciate God, all the participating ministers. Let's honor God. Let's praise the Lord. Open your mouth. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and begin to praise God for the host music minister. I mean, for the for the for the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 music minister that minister to us the guest minister. Why don't you open your mouth and bless God? People were mightily blessed. In fact, in the daytime, during the time of the professional minute uh, uh, program. Somebody got, I mean, somebody got healed. So many miracles took place. We want to say, Father, thank you. We could see the hand of God. We could see the hand of God. We could see the mighty power of God. Even tonight, God, that blessing will continue tonight. Miracles upon our lives. Revival upon our soul. See those who are having cancer. The Lord healed them of cancer. See those who are having joint problems. The Lord liberated. See those who have had accidents for many years. The power of God walk upon them. See as many who have been who were barren before. The Lord attended to their need. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, this is not fiction. It is real, brethren. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's give him all the praises tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Are we there online? Please, I want to hear your voice. If you know that you are there, please, can you give me a better amen? Amen. Amen. God bless that, that voice. God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate God once Amen. again this hour. We want to thank God for all our leaders on this platform. We want to appreciate God for all the brethren, brothers and sisters. We may not know ourselves physically, but everyone recognize what you are doing. I must confess to you, some are playing the role of helping us to collect prayer requests and putting it on the platform. Some are helping us as the admin, helping us to bring in people. And as they are coming in, you want to know their identity. Some are doing one thing or the other. Some are leading prayer. Some are participating member. Some are, you know, they're like just like congr congregants. And they're doing their best. We want to say thank you, Father, for every one of us on this platform, including we, our family, and, our, and all our family members. Is it your wife? your husband, your children, you want to say, God, thank you once again, oh God, for the deposit of your power, the deposit of your anointing, the deposit of the grace of God upon our lives. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let me tell you this, the work of God is not something that can be done carnally. We cannot do it carnally. We cannot do it with the arms of flesh. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. And say, Father, thank you once again, oh God, because either to you have airports, praise him and worship him. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Before Amen. I switch Thanks, over, Lord. before I switch over, remember. Praise the Lord. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's emote ourselves, brother Dick, emote yourself, brother Emmanuel, emote yourself, 
please, I want people to hear because I want to hear you when I'm leading the prayers. And this is, as I used to say, normally this is not quiet time. This is not family devotion. This is prayer program where you come to pray. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you because tonight, every spiritual great church that the enemy has buried people prosperity, every spiritual graveyard that the enemy has buried people destiny, every spiritual graveyard that the enemy has buried people marriages, we pray tonight, those graveyards, you will open those graveyards. And I pray that there will be great fiber and deliverance from above upon all your people in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And tonight, there will be a penetration of your power to shatter every chakus and shame that the enemy has placed upon anybody on this online. I pray that there will be liberation. I pray that Amen. all the bondage Amen. you are here, you are supposed to get married, and then you have not yet married, and you have been praying, and you have been trying, and right. then it's not coming up. After this prayer, I release you to go and possess your possession and get married in chief of faith. Amen. Amen. Night, it will be a special night for every one of us. Thank Amen. you, Father. In Jesus, Lord. Thank you. We pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Without going Amen. Much prayer, please listen to me. Without going too much prayer, tonight is not preaching time. Tonight is prayer time. Tonight is not a long sound. Tonight, very brief, brief exhortation. I will now release you to pray, and then we'll, we'll top it all. I, as I said in the publicity on the platform, in Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 12, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 12, the Bible says, listen to me. You can also listen if you don't have your Bible with you. The Bible says, therefore, prophesy, said unto them, thus says the Lord, God, behold my people. You see that? He said, behold my people. These are the people of the Lord. Behold my people. These are the redeemed of the Lord. Behold my people. These are people, they are named in the book of life. Behold my people. These are not enemy of God. These are the redeemed of the Lord. Behold my people that they love me with all their heart and they are seeking my face every day. My own people, he now said, and I will open your grave. Can you imagine the people of God going to bondage? Can you imagine the priest who gets married and nothing is coming up? The sister there is almost 35. No brother took and then the marriage coming. No brother, no brother proposed to her. Can you imagine that other sister is looking for the widow of God in marriage and not have happened? Can you imagine they have brought the bondage upon them and then they have they brought them into bondage and God is saying that I will open your grave. Stagnant, stagnation. Their affliction, my people going through affliction, they put affliction upon their life. Affliction of whatever the big name of their affliction. But the Lord is saying today, my people, I will open your grave today, be the end of October 2024. All your problems will come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I will open your grave and cause you to come up out of your grave. And cause you to come up out of your grave, my brother. You are coming out of that stagnation, my sister. Amen. You are coming out Amen. of that horrible, bad night dream that nobody put fear in your heart. My people, the Lord is saying, and I will bring you out, and you, and cause you to cut all out of your grave, whatever they are buried in your life, whatever that is not working properly in your body, 
whatever may be the sickness, whatever may be the affliction, whatever may be the challenges, you, you will stand on this promise of God today. The Lord is saying, and the Spirit of God is saying, and I will bring you up out of your grave. Whatever they have used to tie, you know, just recently I saw a particular sister. He said, nobody have opposed to her. He says, see, I've been coming to the church. Nobody need his hand in marriage. As I look at her like this, I discover within her is that there is a there, there is a there, 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 there is a scarf, there is a scarf of honor, a, a blanket that people pass her by and they cannot they cannot identify her. Brother pass her by, they cannot identify her. The enemy use blanket of cover her. And she's beautiful, and she's born again. But people are not noticing ah, when you come to a church or when you have any program. Say no problem. The Lord take the Isaiah, and I say that cast the the, the cars and the enemy are to cover. I have fire to suffer it. You know what? After two weeks, he called me back. He said, "Praise the Lord, brother." And he as what happened? He said, "He said they called the." Uh, and this person told him that they, 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 they need his attention in marriage committee. When they told me, I said, go, go be with you, go. The Lord have done it already. That is what I'm saying. The Lord destroyed mm. that cast. The enemy abuse of over her. The grace of God is now, the, uh, the, 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 the brother called to post. When they come to post, they call me. I say, you pray, whatever God tell you, go ahead, go ahead. Enjoy the day. And the influence of God. And tonight, today, and you are there, you are up to age. And you pray, 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 no marriage has come. You pray, 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 you don't say anything. All the, all the things the devil has used to cover your life partner. The fire of the Holy Ghost will consume them because the Bible says, and I will cause you to come up out of your grave. Whatever the enemy has placed in your life, they put stagnancy mercy before you. I remember a particular brother, he go here, he go here, no job, and he have a master degree. And when, he, when, he, when, when he told me, I said, don't worry, I said, bring your master degree. He brought it, I laid my hand up, I didn't pour water on it, I didn't pour oil on it, I laid my hand up on that master degree. I said, from today, wherever you submit your your, your CV with this master degree, there will, in fact, there will be a competition that company will to be calling you for a job. And guess what? I think after six months, six years, six weeks, or six years, six or seven weeks later, he gave me a call. He said, three companies, they are inviting. I said, God has answered, go and choose. The Lord has blessed you already. What can I say? A lot of things the Lord is doing because the end. You cannot say, and I will cause you to come out of your grave. Just on Wednesday, somebody come and he said, Do you know what, Pastor? You know what he told me? He said, He said, No, he said, somebody never give me money more than four good years now. He, somebody have not, so that means that I said, You mean that somebody have never cashed you 1,000 or 500? He said, He said, Even 100 naira. He said, No, God got that, sir. Nobody give up on that. No, say, even take my bless my life. No way. And he now say, 8, 25 of December, that he used to go through a, a lot of famine, no food scarcity. When he said that, just uh, on Wednesday, yesterday, we went, we have a prayer meeting. When he said that, you know what I told him? I said, don't worry. I said, now, nah, I said, I want to break that. Day. I put my hand in my pocket, I give him one thousand naira. When I give him, and I, I, I from I say from today, whatever is chasing your divine help away from your life, the Lord will destroy that. Thing. You know, not so long it takes me. He says somebody gave him two thousand. That it even asks the person, the person doesn't say, "I want to bless you." As that is it, the Lord has bring that shock in your life. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. The Lord in His power said He is going to bring you out from every grave. The enemy has brought you, he has buried you, your destiny, your life. Go say, I will bring you out of it before we pray. Look at it again. Therefore, prophesy. Tonight, we are going to prophesy. Therefore, prophesy and said unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, my people, my regime of the Lord, my people, my servants, my people, those who have been cleansed, my people, and I will open your grave. Man. Stagnancy coming out of it. I have opened your grave. Affliction, you are 
out of it, and I will open your grave. When you sleep in the night, masculine will pursue you here and there, and I will open your grave. You have daughters and four daughters and five daughters, and they are always from Maripur age, and no man, no brother, no, no man has proposed to those your daughters. The Lord is saying, and I will open the grave of your daughter, they will get married. And I will open your grave, and all the bad talk, and all the disappointment that is following you, the Lord is saying, and I will open your grave. If the plus is coming your way tonight, like pressure is coming your way tonight, and communion is coming your way tonight, and, and prosperity is coming your way tonight, if you can Amen. eat and pray and sleep, of God promises of the word of God, you will enjoy the goodness, the liberation, the deliverance of God upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The from bondage. Bondage in every Over your life. Those bondage God will break it. Those bondage God will break it. Hey. Amen. You are here, you are here right now. That you, you, it's like it's like you, you have, you have in, in the right side of your of your neck, you have a sharp pain over there, a sharp pain. As I'm talking, I just play your hand over there, put your hand on your, your right part of your neck, just lay your hand there right now, as your forehead, put your hand there, put your hand there. I decree that pain that is destroying your neck, you cannot turn your neck very well. I command the strength of God to come upon that neck. And I pray the healing virtue of Christ will flow through your system. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The of the Lord, the power of the Lord, we jack out every thing that tie you down, every child, every shake. The spirit of the Lord, we, we, we destroy them out in the name of Jesus. You are yet so for good six months, one year, the person has not been responding. Yeah. But the of Jesus, yeah. I command and I decree that person that promised uh, to help you. I uh, pray right now, they are touching and every power they have used to manipulate is at a way to assist you. I command those part to be scattered. And I pray the Lord will the Lord will touch him. Before this week finishes, before the end of this week, you will, he will give you a call, and he will, what he has promised to do for you, he will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. By Amen. the special grace of God, and by the grace of God, tonight I have fully prepared for this for this program already, and I, I am not telling you by the Spirit of the Lord, and I want to tell you tonight. Every problem you brought on this mountain, every challenge you brought on this mountain, every battle you brought on this mountain, take notice for example, because after tonight you are going to see the manifesting power of God in your life. And we also say, if you're looking for a job, you have all what it takes to get that job. You have a certificate to get that job from tonight. After this prayer, please, I beg you, write your CV and go and submit your CV to those companies, they will call you, they will accept you. Rejection Amen. in your life must not enter out of that prayer meeting. I'm telling the fact, I hear from God, I hear from God because God wants to give somebody a better job tonight. Write us your, your destiny and then you submit it. You will see what the Lord we accomplish in your life. You will see, you will see the testimony. Competition, people will be calling you, organization will be calling you, company will be calling you. That in fact, you yourself, you will say, Who's one well, am I going to choose? God will choose for you. Once Amen. again, before we pray, look at the word of God. Therefore, prophesy unto them, thus says the Lord God, behold, all my people, and I will open your grave and cause you to come all out of your grave and bring you Amen. into the land. Of Israel, very, very briefly before I release it, number one, I see in that in that fact, I see proclamation of life. That means resurrection power will wake in everything that is dormant in your life. 
put them as the dormant in your brain, in your family, in your wife, in your children, everything dormant in your life, I can discover, I can see resurrection of power of God coming upon you, bringing you back to life, number two, opening of the grave. What I can see over fear is that every great in your life, all your dream that has been buried, vision that has been buried, I can see restoration coming back again of your life. But actually, I can see in that house the deliverance from bondage because I open your grave. I can see also deliverance from bondage and every spirit of death and every spirit of stagnation. The power of God is going to break every sort of pain and stagnation in your life. But before I can see spiritual revival, spiritual revival, spiritual revival, or the Lord will, the Lord will breathe upon your bow, or the tripod in your life, or the tripod in your prayer life. Yeah, you have in four those days, you can pray for 30 minutes, you can pray by the grace of God. For, for one hour at the stress, but now you cannot pray for five minutes, you cannot pray for ten minutes. When you are praying, you are sleeping, when you are praying, you are yawning. I can see spiritual revival, awaken, revival. Mm -hmm. The Lord will breathe upon us. Number five, mm -hmm. I can discover restoration Amen. of destiny, restoration of destiny. In that part, I open your grave, I can see restoration of destiny that whatever the man has buried in your life the restoration mm -hmm. power will restore and you heal your destiny no i see i can see the journey to the promised land mm -hmm. and i will take you to the land of Israel. the promised land that you will finish where you will run where mm -hmm. not here we mm -hmm. don't cross your journey a seven victory over the enemy. I prophesy that every enemy that is seeking to keep you in the grave of defeat, hey, you will defeat your opponent. Number eight, yes, yeah, I can see boldness in prophecy. Prophesy, boldness in prophecy. Prophesy tonight. Mm -hmm. You will prophesy mm -hmm. upon your wife, you will prophesy upon mm -hmm. your children. You will profess upon your work. You will profess upon every thing that concerns you and your household in Jesus' name. Number nine, I can see faithful and break through. Faithful and break through. I pray for divine favor that will bring breakthrough in your mind. life. Divine favor. Because when your grave is open, there's favor and breakthrough coming up in your life. And tonight, you will receive the favor of God and break through your Amen. life in Jesus' Amen. name. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Come now. Why don't you just close your eyes? Just appreciate God. Give God a shout of praise because tonight oh, your grave will be opened. Give God a shout of praise. Open your mouth. And it's time for action. It's time for action. You move yourself and begin to open your mouth. Begin to praise Him the Lord because tonight the Lord wants to open your grave and appreciate Him. Give him the truth, give him the honor. The Lord will not be able to do it. Thank him for what he's going to do tonight. Open your mouth and give him the truth you want to eat. If I expect you to open you must not carry this book this man again. This Tonight was a day that you will set the story the end of October when God opened your grave. The end of October is the day God opened your grave. Present no more my soul and all that see me. Give God a praise. we pray. Amen. Who are going to pray? Prayer of resurrection. Prayer of resurrection. Everything dead in your life. Everything dormant in your life. Your prayer life, your spiritual life, your family life, your marital life, your social life, your academic life. Whatever is dormant in your life. Everything that is dead spiritual, everything that is dead 
the resurrection power of God will bring, oh, bring them back to life. To bring them back to life. To bring them back to life. Do it now. Hold them up and pray. Open your prayer. And call unto the Lord. Whatever is dormant in your life, receive life. Whatever is Whatever is life, whatever is life of your children receive life. the of my life, Whatever is dominant in your body, whatever is dominant in your let my Something that it takes the divine hand of God, it is like a spirit of insanity, disturbing now. Uh, the point I'm trying to underscore is this: see, iniquity, unrighteousness, lying, 
anger, all these things is a bondage of people's life. They are not free to bondage. Bondage of, of, of anger. Anger is a sea. Anger, anger, anger. Hey, somebody is online now. You are hearing me. You have that challenge of anger. When you get angry like this, all your face are going to be shivering, be shivering, be shivering, be shivering. Anger, anger, anger. And that is the that is the area the devil was trying, trying to you to capture you, to destroy the good thing going to be in your life. And tonight we are going. Vision, in Jesus' name. Fashion next week, Thursday, in Jesus' time, on this same topic. Maybe I will continue next week. My time is going. I want to keep to the time. Now, I want to pray for one of our brother here, one of our brother. And uh, he's based in, in, in overseas. He's just online now. Let's pray for him that if the enemy has projected him to his life from Africa, he's in abroad now. He's abroad. He came from Africa. Whatever they are projecting into his life, like rejection, whatever they are projecting into his life, like obstacles, affliction, sickness, we are going to pray that all sorts of symptoms of the attack of the death over the life of this our brother. And we're going to decree that God will give you a better job. Right now. Jesus, the place of war, the place of 
You are going to prophesy upon the life of this our brother. You are going to prophesy upon his life right now. Yeah, the prayer, yeah, the prophecy, yeah, the prophecy. You are going to speak to him that every affliction of sickness God will wipe it away. You are going to pray that every uh, bad author, like a bad smear, this author coming from him, that we when we come among people that they will they will say, What is this? What is this? That the blow of sickness will blow those bad author away. You are going to pray for him that before the middle of November, God will give him a better job. The Lord will provide a better job for him. Oh, people, I'm going to pray for him right now. Call upon the Lord's behalf. Before the middle of November, before November, the Lord will give him a better job. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. In the name of Jesus. We will connect in the name of Jesus. We are almighty God. We pray. 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 Let's pray for all those who are looking for a good wife to marry, good husband to marry. God will break the yoke. From tonight, let God begin to connect them to their husband, to their wife. Let them begin to connect them to their Lord, the good them to the bone and in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, from now, oh Lord, just the urgent of the Oh Lord, a new month of testimony, a new month of miracle, a new visitation in the name of Jesus. I will locate them all the bone of their bone, the bone of their food, oh Lord, to them, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. I believe you, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We pray. Amen. We are going to pray. Somebody says there is a woman a place of work that wants to disorganize, that wants that the, the authority that let us pray that that woman that is threatening her brother, God will silence him. Amen. God will silence her. All the noises mm. making and all Amen. the authority and all the all the plan Amen. and all the all the things he's trying to do to make our brother in that Amen. place and form to become business, God will silence her. All his agenda, God will scatter it. Father, in the name of the Lord, of the Lord. The 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 in that place of work will not come for him in the name of Jesus. Father, the enemy, O Lord. Of our brother, of our sister, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, we are going to battle. You are going to fight for her. You fight for her. In the name of Jesus, you do wonderful things. We pray. Let's meet with life, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You know, I told you some times ago, we are in a prayer, we give a prayer point. Somebody was not praying that prayer. Without him knowing that that prayer point is made for him, and guess what happened? The calamity strike, and then the husband passed away. It was later he can say, ah, that prayer point, that dream that he had, that he saw caskets, caskets in 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 that dream, that he did not know that he, he does not know that that thing. 
that tree was refined to the husband. And we see that let's pray against the spirit of death. Okay? And she did not pray that prayer. And she had a dream that he saw, his, he saw somebody in his casket and all that, not knowing that it was the husband that the enemy was about to take away. I pray that no members of the death will not carry any member of our family away through death in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, when you come for prayer meeting, even though, even though you are a pastor, whatever, when they give you a prayer, when others pray, don't be over-righteous. Don't be holier than thou. Don't be sorry, pray. Because there is, there is, there is, there is what to call corporate prayer anointing. Corporate prayer is different from individual prayer. Corporate prayer is different from individual prayer. So when we go for prayer, please, those of you who, 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 you, who always keep quiet, and you are not praying, you are not doing yourself good, I will tell you the truth. You are not doing yourself good. You have to pray. You have your visitation. Our Father, we thank you for tonight. We bless your name because you give us an assurance in your word. We know that your word will never fail. You say, therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Lord, says the Lord, behold, all my people, I will open your grave and cause you to come up out of your grave. Every stagnancy, every disorder, everything in the end has buried that belongs to anybody on this prayer, or on this mountain of prayer. I command the grave to be open right now. Let your people begin to celebrate in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I and I declare whatever bondage, whatever yoke, whatever limitation the devil place upon anyone tonight, I yank out those limitations. I yank out those bondage. I command the inner virtue of God to flow right now in the name of Jesus. I see like a river and they put the sacrifice that throw it to that ocean to, to appeal to the goddess because it's like a call for a family that they, they, are, they are worshiping idol and all that and all and I, I can see that right now whatever sacrifice they have made on your behalf hey whatever sacrifice they have they have made and they have they have given to the goddess they put it on the on, on the on the on the river Appeal to the goddess. I command all those pictures and all those all those uh, 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 images that used to represent you and your husband and your wife in their coven. I command fire to consume those coven and to pull those images out right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray Amen. for you tonight. You will not die. Or another person's death. Amen. What you lost in the past, may God strengthen you and give you the grace to recover everything you have lost in the past in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is yeah. something uh, I know very well, and uh, when we go into the economy, um, economy, the let us know that the woman's want is unlimited. Uh, our okay. pastor have blessed a lot of us individually, jointly, and then even when you look at the coordinators of the GCK. There's something that is being observed now that, okay, this is key. I've gone to uh, North Am uh, America, gone to uh, all other places I cannot be mentioning now, but there's still some area, maybe North America, where they are speaking Spanish that GCK need to go. So that's how we know that the woman want is very uh, unlimited. And then, as our pastor, I bless every one of us. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I know individually we need want that we want to ask, we want to request for. As our pastor said, that we should be open.
we should be opening our mouth anytime we are in the prayer. Do not forget the the definition of prayer. If you are requesting for Almighty God, and I believe as we are requesting for Almighty God today, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. I don't know if you have observed something. Amen. It's always difficult when everybody is sharing testimony and you couldn't share. Two, 20 people gather together. <laughs> this one say, ah, you remember when we are this, uh, like all our, our pastor always say, when we are in uh, Mark Coco, this, 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 the testimony continue. When we are you together, the testimony continue. Then to come to a time somebody will not have testimony to share. It's very, very, I don't know what we can say, but you see that it is not the best. So as a result of this, I know you have something in your mind that you won't go to do. And that's the reason, especially in Nigeria, you have not slept. That's the reason, especially in United States, that's why that we have worked tired. We are still awake up to this level. And then uh, I can see somebody like that who is, uh, thank God, we are not in their own era again. We are by, we, people are cheating each other. I'm talking about Jacob and, and, and the Is Esau. We can see a lot of things that uh, Jacob did for Esau, but he came to a time, and then Esau went to his father. 